All right, man. Rest in peace. Rest in peace to Bobby Caldwell. Uh, you know, late singer, a good singer in the late 1970s. You know, he started off, you know, playing guitar, rhythm guitar for Little Richard, you know, before he uh, ended up embarking his solo career. But, um, you know, he ended up being inspired by different uh, musicians like the Beatles, Nat King Cole, and, uh, you know, and, and Frank Sinatra. But I love that song, Would You, Would you Want to Do for Love? It was really good, man. A great song. And I remember um, what they were saying, like, he was in TK Records, located in Miami, Florida. And at one particular time, man, you know, when he was, you know, blowing up in the R&B format, they was like, oh, shoot, you know, for this platform, man, you know, people want people to think you're, you know, black and stuff. You don't want to think you're white. So, <laughs> like, get that exposure. But um, at one point, I was like, man, Bobby Caldwell, he's a, he's a white man. I mean, because, you know, he sound like he sound like a brother, you know, when he's uh singing. You know, on one of his tracks, though. But when I heard about this, man, you know, he died, I guess, died peacefully, died in his home. Uh, I think Mary Caldwell, she tweeted that, talking about uh, his status, and uh, he died in his arms. I believe he uh, he was suffering from his health uh, about six years, you know. So, um, But the good thing is, man, you know, his music will always live forever. I listen to him sometime when I have my little mix on YouTube. So I just had to say, you know, rest in peace to him. You know, My Flame and all these other records that he have on Spotify. He has good top songs. And um, it was just, it was really cool, man. I mean, he really kind of changed the game when it came to R&B, man. That rhythm, soul music, and that love music. And it was just something that was just really peaceful, man. So something that you can play in the background or play at a, a, a cookout, barbecue, or a home gathering. It's really unique in so many ways. So... Rest in peace to him, and um, you know condolences. You know his family. Uh, pretty sure, uh, hopefully, he owned his masters and things like that, man, and have complete ownership of his music. You know because um, you know his records, man. I'm you know when he's he's gone. Pretty sure people are going to continuously to buy in and support him now. But yeah, man, Bobby Caldwell, he inspired a lot of people, man. You know during that time frame, uh, making great music too. Uh, Jackson Five and all that stuff. So Mike Jackson was popping and Prince. So I mean, this was a pivotal time in music, and uh, he's an icon. So I just want to give my respects to him. Uh, well, renowned singer. Just heard the news about it. So there's gonna be more videos coming in, but I just want to just give my piece here. You guys continue to like, comment, subscribe, share this video. This is your boy Lee Jr. I'm out. Deuces.